Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. It's Friday. It's 12:40. We came out today at uh, 11 o'clock. We've been out for one hour 40 minutes, and we're at 37.75 as you can see here. Not great. This video is going to be two parts, two two things I'm going to talk about today because. I've noticed this week it's been slower, which, you know, we have these trends. It's not nothing to worry about. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm sharing my experience. But I believe the reason it's been slower for me, and I've still made good good money. I've had some good hours here and there, but overall it's been not as much stuff as hitting my phone as previous weeks. And my average per hour and average per day is down. Um, yesterday was really good, but I was out for 11 hours. I made like 260. About a month? Three weeks ago, $1,800 referral bonus in my market of St. Louis and many others said you had a similar dollar amount referral bonus. $1,800. I thought about getting another account and, you know, whatever, right? And like, ooh, I'm going to take advantage of this. I didn't. But clearly, as I'm out and about... Phone disconnected. Oh, as I'm out and about, I'm seeing a lot more dashers in, the, in my community new people people i've never seen i can tell they're first time dashers listen i've been doing this long enough okay you can you know when somebody's a brand new dasher plus i tend to have conversations with people you just know a lot of new dashers in my market so what does that mean basically the old analogy i've been giving it for a while i'm in the same pond or lake fishing it's been good and it's, it'll get better but there's a lot more fishermen there now doordash is my market wasn't really ever, I didn't ever think, think it was oversaturated. Definitely feel like it is now. More and more people are doing the gig economy. They're coming to it, times are tough. $1,800 referral bonus, all these dashers are out here. Hey, I got my girlfriend's got an account now, my mom, my dad, boom, 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 getting this referral money. And it's saturated, oversaturated St. Louis. I can tell, I can tell. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Thing hasn't gone off. It's the middle of lunch in St. Louis. I've been seeing, uh, and also, the referral bonus now is $700. So that tells me DoorDash got the people they wanted. Okay, so think about it as a W-2. This isn't a W-2, but this is a fair comparison. When I w had a restaurant, I was running restaurants, We would all, I was always trying to hire people because you're always going to lose somebody, something's going to happen. You always want to have enough people, right? But there were times that the employees that I had that were really, you know, full-timers and like really were with us for a while, Sometimes their hours would get cut because we had to give some of the new people some hours for training or whatever else. You got to balance out that labor, right? And they would be upset about it. This is no different. DoorDash knows a lot of us don't want to take the two, three dollar orders and they want to sprinkle as many dashers around because they want to get the orders completed. Also, my acceptance rate was 77% last week. It's 47% right now as I stand. It's dropped 30 percentage points in a week, 30. Now, I'm not tanking it on purpose. I just been seeing either some bad ones here and there or the mileage ain't right. And I've been, you know, staying selective, but it's not that my strategy has changed or it's that I'm seeing less because DoorDash has to make these new drivers. They, gotta, it's, they have to give them some good orders, right? So it's not that I'm seeing more trash. It said I'm seeing less because there's more people out here that DoorDash has to cater to. There's more dashers and a similar amount of orders. Nothing really has changed from this week to last week. No seasonal changes, no crazy weather, no this, no that, right? So now the real question is, and still, I'm still sitting here. It's not going off. I had this on. Um, I was going to film this later, but I said, let's do it now. And you'll see if something comes up. But this should be going off but there's more drivers. Oversaturation in St. Louis and in many markets is gonna continue. People, the, the, the people that know about the jobs and the economics of this country and all this and what people are doing, right? Gig work is becoming so popular, everybody's doing it. Now, most people don't, don't do it part-time. Most people do it a few hours a week, right? But the part-timers are coming in and are taking some of these good orders from me. I can see it. And also my acceptance rate is 47%, so I'm not getting priority. Also another reason why this isn't going off, right? 
Now we've made 37.75, but we're out for an hour and 45 minutes. That's really bad in St. Louis for me. So what do you do? We talk about adapting, doing these things. I'm not worried, I'm not stressing about it. The law of averages, will, they'll work its way out. We have good days, we have bad days, good weeks, bad weeks. Here's an order coming in right here. Now I will take this one. I'll screenshot it. This is actually a really good order. 14.50, 2.7 miles, two different, um, or on dollar peak pay till 12.50, I believe. Two different restaurants. King and I and Steve Hot Dogs. King and I can throw a rock and hit it, and then Steve Hot Dogs is basically a quarter of a block right now. It's right next to it. This is, well, let me accept it before I start rambling. But that order there, that's a good one, but I've seen a change. There are more drivers out and about right now in St. Louis than ever before. I'm, re I'm thinking it. And I see them. I, see, I run into people that know me from YouTube every day. So if anything, I've told people how good this is. And I'm happy people are making money. But I'm telling you what. I got to get this AR up a little bit more, I think. But I can't take trash, so it's weird. But they're sprinkling in. They got to give the new dashers some good orders. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys are seeing in your market with saturation levels. What's your referral bonus now? I bet it's less than it's been before. It went from 1,800 to 700 because they filled the quota. They got a, an extra couple hundred drivers out here, whatever in St. Louis, I don't know, who, who knows what the number is. And DoorDash is happy with that. So they're gonna pay less to get to attract new drivers, new dashers. Did you know DoorDash, um, they, they go on Indeed and they um, they they market on Indeed in St. Louis, earn you know up to $25 an hour. You know, you go to all these little forums, they're all over the place. Google ads, be a dasher. They're on uh, Craigslist, believe it or not. They're on all these forums. They want as many drivers out here as possible. And I don't blame them. I'd probably do the same if I ran DoorDash. If I'm being honest with you guys, I would probably do the same. Because it's hard to really know. You know, I don't ever schedule myself. So it's hard for DoorDash to know exactly when I'm going to work, right? My schedule can be kind of, you know, Monday through Thursday kind of deal. But I came out today because I only worked... I worked three half days this week. So, yeah, you guys let me know. I'm gonna pick up these orders. Uh, King and I, as you can see, it says I can arrive at that store already because I'm literally right there. I'm actually going to, I'll pull off, I'll pull off and, and, and drive to this spot with you guys. But listen, times are, the saturation levels, man, more people are gonna come to it. DoorDash knows more people are struggling. They know the type of candidate they're gonna get with DoorDash the kind of person they're gonna attract. They know that, they're smart. And uh, I'm seeing a difference, man, I'm telling you. And 30 percentage points, my, my dash went down, my AR went down 30 percent, that is crazy. My acceptance rate hasn't been this low in a very long time. Basically, I wanna say since the beginning of the year. So you guys tell me what you think about what's happening and all this and all that. Are you worried about things? Are you guys seeing a change in your market with saturation levels, earnings, all that stuff? You guys let me know. I'm going to pick up these orders. We're picking up a pad Sue. We're picking up a kid's French fry for Alyssa. And then a Steve's hot dogs. We're picking up a Steve's pub brat and a Steve's famous chili cheese fries. This order will probably stay the same. I don't know. I, listen, I can't call it. That. I, listen, DoorDash, do what you do. Key thing is have multiple apps. If, you're, if your areas become oversaturated, make sure you got Uber, you got Instacart, another app you could turn on. I think I'm gonna do some Instacart next week for you guys and see how that's, see what's going on with that. Um, but it's definitely changing. $1,800 referral down to 700. My acceptance rate down 30 percentage points in the last five days I've worked. It was 77% last week, guys. Like I, show, I showed you that. You guys seen the videos. It was actually, yeah, when I started Monday, it was like 77. Crazy. Crazy. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to take crash tra trash orders to get it to go up, but I definitely will take orders like this. And then, yeah, if there's four or five dollar runs going a mile or two, I'm going to take those as well because I do believe in a diamond zone. You got to be above 50, and it won't take me long to get above 50. But it might be difficult to get back up above 70. That that 30 percent drop I just did that hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I think this order I, if I was here proximity. I come do business with them all the time. Not surprised I got this one. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Bet on you, set goals one day time. Use the gig economy the best way that you can, but always have a backup, have another app, and have another way of making revenue. See you guys tomorrow.
If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.